How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm processing some of these basic foods like beans and rice, and I'm gonna process them into a long-term storage base setup. So I do this, uh, I wouldn't say often, but probably about four times a year, I try to place a decent amount of food away into long-term storage, and it's actually not very difficult to do and it's pretty cheap, honestly, like surprisingly cheap, and you can use it with household stuff. So I'm doing it anyway, so I figured what the heck I would film it. So the items that you're gonna need, of course, is your food, which you can look up different types of food. What we're doing is specifically beans and rice today. I have, this is a 25 pound bag of rice. These are 12 pound bags of beans. We're doing 50 pounds of beans and 50 pounds of rice. So all you need to really make this work is an iron or something heat wise. You're going to need mylar bags, which these are the ones that I specifically use. I'll probably place them in the link below that you guys can look at or purchase if you want to. And then also these are the 300 CC oxygen absorbers. Now, of course you just need something to, you know, take your rice from this container and put it in your mylar bags. It can be honestly, whatever. I like to have a small piece of wood, like a two by four or something like that, that I can lay the lip of this on, which I'll show you here in a minute of actually how to do it. But uh, it's a pretty simple, easy process. Like I said, super cheap. So honestly, I'm probably just gonna dive into it and you'll just kind of see how I do it and we'll go from there. All right, so the first thing that I mainly do is start to get my specific food ready to go. Now, I do not mess with the oxygen absorbers over here at all, mainly because once you open that, your timer starts. That's pretty much limiting you or you'll ruin all your oxygen absorbers. So what I like to do is do the whole bag of this. I like to place all of them ready to go, pretty much lay them out on the table, get them all ready in kind of a line. And then as soon as I open the oxygen absorbers, I start checking them in and then I start uh, rolling through them. Now it's easier if you have someone else to do it with you. Definitely uh, saves some time, but you can definitely do it alone. So this is pretty much the tedious process of just literally pulling out your rice or whatever your food is. Also, these bags are gusseted on the bottom a little bit, so it kind of helps. And you can use different stuff. Once I get this set up properly, it'll go pretty smooth, but in the beginning, it takes a little time. Now I'm just testing it right now because it's a kind of a full bag, but you're gonna lean it kind of on its side. I kind of bend it up and make sure none of the rice comes out. You want it just enough so you have enough of your food product actually in the bag, but not enough that it's like overflowing when you tip it over like this. So this is a good to go bag, no issues. And I just literally set it off to the side, continue on to the next bag. And I will literally stack bags ready to roll. All right, so 50 pounds of rice is complete. They're all stacked up nicely over here on the side. Let's turn that back on, which is, let's see, get that out of here. I normally put a piece of wood down just in case so I don't catch anything on fire or anything like that, you know, try to be safe a little bit. But anyways, here's some oxygen absorbers. Here's a few that I used last time. So I'm gonna be doing two 
just because if one fails, then another one will be able to pick up. So I have a bunch more over here as well, which is gonna be for the beans coming up. So we'll see how long that goes. See if we're up to temp, which it looks like we are. And not just yet. But pretty much when you open these, you kind of got to get moving a little bit because that's going to be the, the time schedule or the timeliness aspect of it. All right. So we'll put these old ones in first, which I resealed these in a uh, Mylar bag. So we'll open those back up, which I actually normally come with one of these. So you can reseal them if needed. I can even get it open. All right. There they are. Only three. All right. So let's go ahead and open. Open this up and time starts now to get this rolling. Not too difficult. Take the iron, make sure it's all done up properly. Let's see if I can do this. Test it, just make sure, and there you go. All right, and that is the last bag. I have them kind of strewn out through here. Kind of a bit of a rush, I guess you would say, is when you initially start doing it, but it's honestly not that bad. So, 50 pounds of rice went into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 bags. So 10 of these bags has 50 pounds of rice. Now you can do it a little bit differently, especially if you have five gallon buckets, which these will go into, but some people will do the really big, uh, big Mylar bags and they'll just pour everything in there. Mainly, I split them up into smaller bags like this because I prefer if one of these were to get punctured, I'm only out like say this much of the food. Now, if something like one of the bigger ones would get punctured, that means that entire bucket is gone. Now I get it, you will get more space and more food per bucket if you go with a bigger bag just because you're condensing it down, less air space. But it's a certain trade-off. You're gonna have to come up and decide what do you prefer, what do you wanna run with. So we're gonna probably transition over to the beans, but the beans are literally the same exact way as what I just did here. It's not that difficult. Um, like I said, stage everything first, and then the last thing that you do is go to the oxygen absorbers and then just start going on with your uh, iron and then place them away. It's really not that difficult, really cheap. I think this bag right here, 50 pounds of jasmine rice was $16. So that's not that bad at all. So 
cost per bag, I have no idea, maybe a couple dollars, even less than that, even with the material in it. So if you guys like this kind of stuff and just want to see more in depth, maybe something like this, then definitely hit like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope y'all have a great day.